That's right. This is the losers bracket final. So who will be the king of the losers? And they will not be you moving start on. Off yeah, sure. I'll do uh, Moyai. Moyai in the green team in the northern spawn here on Land of Fire. Going to be running Montana, Schlieffen, uh, Des Moines, Des Moines, Moskva, Vampire 2, Alvaro de Bazan, Grozovoy, and then a uh, Radar. No, a Smoke Yu Yang, actually. A Smoke Yu Yang. That is a Smoke Yang with the smoke module. Yep. Hmm. Very interesting. So let's take a look at the south spawn opposing them. It's Akui. Um, both teams won two O's over their uh, opponents earlier today, so both are feeling pretty good, I would imagine, at this stage of the game. So we've got a Vamp Deuce heading towards A, uh, supported by the Alvaro de Bazan, uh, the Grozovoy, and a uh, Reload Spect Des Moines. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, going to the middle is Thelfadam's Moskva. Last time we saw this map, he was in a Stalingrad. Um, I think, doing this. They, they like to switch back and forth between these quite a bit. Uh, that's a unique upgrade. Um, unique upgrade Des Moines with, look at that. He's also got the uh, DCP module in slot one. Not mm. used to seeing a Des Moines running that. No, and uh, honestly, I'm not a fan of it. Mm -mm. So um, um, that and Des Moines then... has 5,000 HP in his turrets. The other Des Moines is 7,500 HP in his turrets. If you end up in a Des Moines versus Des Moines bow-in fight, and you're just yep. plunking AP in with each other's turrets, if you haven't taken the slot one um, module health mod, I mean, you are I'm going to lose one. that trade. Yep. You are going to lose that trade. Simple. You are going to lose your turrets for two reasons. Number one, the raw HP pool of your turret is lower, so they will be destroyed quicker. But more importantly, which is something that is far less discussed, the chance for your module to be incapacitated, as we have a draw happening, I'll sit there and explain this, oh, we have a restart. The chance for yep. your module to be incapacitated is based on the absolute remaining hitch points in your module. So if you start with less HP in your module, you are more likely to have your module incapacitated. Right. And again, that, that's assuming, that's assuming that everybody is... Uh... You know, shooting the turrets out. Most people, most people will do that. Some, you know, some won't. But yeah, it just it just feels it, it feels awkward. Absolutely. Um. So my chat's asking a couple of questions. Do you mind if I kind of answer that with both of us here? Sure. Okay. First of all, uh, chat is bringing up a good point, and I I didn't even catch this. I want to go to the uh, tournament page for a second. Mm -hmm. And we actually saw this matchup yesterday. Winner's Bracket 2.1, Moe versus Akui. Mm -hmm. We saw them play each other. And that's what I... I think that's where I went yesterday. As well. It's so many games. I know, it all I, blows I together. I wrote it down. Yeah, I, I covered that. I, I covered uh, at least one or two of those games. I did... Um, and D Bloomer. Yeah. And and then I, I did yeah. So I caught all three of those. Okay. Anyways. Um now the other thing that people were asking is can we talk about the bands. Um and we'll have to do that later because the, the game's starting up again. <laughs> no. No, we we have a little bit of time just because Bonds have already gone over the team lineup, so Yeah, but you know, I'm gonna cut this to YouTube. And when I do, I, I, I don't, I don't include like, you know, preamble, the time in between and all. So I just start right here. So if you don't mind, I'll, I'll walk us through the, the lineup again. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. All right. So, uh, try number two, Moi versus Akoi, a rematch from yesterday. And, um, Moi, I, because it's a, it's a restart, they can't change anything up. So we got Alvaro de Bazan, Vamp Deuce, uh, Grozovoy, Smoke Yu Yang. Des Moines, unique upgrade. Des Moines, unique upgrade. Mosby, unique upgrade. Montana, uh, basically full sniper spec. And then a Schlieffen, which I'm very excited to see with main armaments mod one instead. Yes. And look at all those hit points on that on those torpedoes. He's actually got two that rolled really bad. <laughs> Even with main armaments mod one. Ouch. I mean, a thousand's um, still fine. Yeah, yeah. I'd want more. 
<laughs> oh, you would one more. I would personally prefer that the absolute... I don't mind individual randomization, but when the total HP pool of one ship rolls worse than the total HP ship pool of another ship, I think that's not yeah. the best. I agree. Um, so posing to the south is Hakui with uh, Alvaro de Bazan, a Grozovoy. Um, there's the, the Vamp Deuce smoking up, this time a Des Moines. Uh, they're, they're gonna take him to the safe spot this time instead of the Kremlin. That, that's interesting. Um, and uh, let's see what else we've got. Uh, Moskva, uh, unique upgrade. Des Moines unique upgrade. That's the one we were talking about with the uh, DCP module. So uh, rip his turrets. Mm -hmm. um, heading over towards the seaside is a Schlieffen that is also running main armaments mod one. So nice to see. Let's see how his torpedoes rolled. He's still with main armaments mod one rolled a 623. Ooh, but you Ouch. got a 2500 on the front right. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's great considering uh, the direction he's going. He's going to take yeah. the shells on the left anyways. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's, there's War Gambling Enjoyer with the Brigand. I love his name. And we see a Shimakaze smoking himself into the sea cap. Now, this is, this is a nice smoke idea. Because what it does is it tells the enemy team there's probably a cruiser fighting in that, and it discourages any sort of, you know, destroyer on destroyer action. It could also be used for the Schlieffen if you really want to replace super hyper aggressive, but I'm uh, not sure if it's the best of ideas, really. Not this early, anyway. Yeah. So, Des Moines, not this early. both going to be spotting each other on the way to the island. Uh, radar came out from the front Des Moines, radar came out in return from the red Des Moines. Uh, but both of them look like they're going to make it to the position. Tanner says, yeah, okay. <laughs> when this happened, when Hakui did this uh, earlier today and they brought the Kremlin to that position, the Montana shot the Kremlin, missed the Kremlin, and hit the Vamp Deuce instead. Mm. Ouch. <laughs> the Vamp Deuce at this point of the game was at like 4,000 HP already. So that's a, that's a feels bad moment. Well, the big brain works. Shimakaze gets a free cap uh, at, at uh, C. And Alvaro Torpedo's Bazan. hitting the Alvaro. The Yuyang's not exactly in a much better position behind that. Okay, they expired. No. That could have been hairy. <laughs> Yuyang has a bit of a brown alert. And um, they got both A and C, but the Alvaro is going to come in and say, nope. Imagine if these guys saw each other right now. LH Gamer would be in serious trouble because he had to pop his DCP. Well, they know that somebody took a top. Right. But uh, the Des Moines that could radar, Pepe the Vapega, is very far south right now. He could still radar, actually. Oh, Rosalind there's the Alvaro. To leave. He's, he's smoking the Des Moines into the island. That's uh -huh. why he came south. He's like, hey, I need my friend. Friend, come help me. The, the Des Moines is currently, like, seeing what is approaching that cap. And I'm not sure if he likes the fact that he has to sit there in front of a Schlieffen. Well, the Schlieffen's actually rapidly losing HP. Yeah, he is. And that's because of the other Des Moines that's in the, uh, the Kremlin spot from the last time we saw this. Although, um, torpedoes are a thing. So Alvaro here on the one line has a nice little angle onto the opposing Alvaro. He's got a smoke up right on the map border with the Des Moines Hydro locking the opposing Alvaro. So this Alvaro in front of the Schlieffen is going to be in a lot of trouble from this. He also can't really maneuver very well to dodge the salvos because there's a giant Schlieffen in the way. Yeah, uh, it did take a while for uh, World Spawn to go ahead and start shooting at the Alvaro after he was lit. I'm really surprised that, uh, you know, he was waiting for it, but whatever. And then he immediately gets forced out with smoke screen as well. Mm-hmm. So, um... Salusius is Des Moines, though. I mean, all Peach has got to do is just lazily reverse. Get his secondaries on. And that's a dead Des Moines. I mean, you know. I mean, Vampire has Hydra already, but unfortunately, uh, the, the, the opposing Des Moines is Hydraing back, so... Yeah. That's the problem when you commit to putting a unit on this island. You absolutely must win that trade and kill the opposing unit on the opposite island. 
Yeah, it's always been a DPS race. We used to see Petros parked either side of that. It's just a bit, who, mm -hmm. can, who can kill the opposing anchor first. And that's why we've seen a bit of a migration away from Des Moines play on that island to a lot of Minotaur play. For the simple fact that you have the super heal to make you slightly more survivable, usually the only thing that's going to have nice angles on you is going to be um, uh, another cruiser. So you can tank it for quite a while. Right. Um, the other thing that's a possibility too is uh, we see Kremlins posted there because of just how darn right tanky they are. This is also true, yeah. Uh, I mean, but, you know, War Gambling Enjoyers Burgon, for example, I felt like is way too close. He needs to be able to arc that island into the Des Moines, into Brody, but I don't think he can. Hey, look, there's a Schlieffen parking on the timeline. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to mention that. Um, at some point, Ayanami's going to be... Um, going full send, but not right now, I guess. Which direction is he going to well, go, though? Is he going to go, like, straight across the cap, or is he going to go up the nine lane? If you ask me, he should be going up the nine lane while the Shima goes into C, but... Uh, yeah, looks like they're just going to go and hold hands for a bit. Radar coming out over on the one lane here. Going to be catching all the destroyers on both sides. Well, they're actually going to collide on the border, which is kind of funny to think about. I because, have seen um, some weird things happen. Because um, now, now you've got this big glob of destroyer that everybody can just randomly shoot into. They're but, still um, trying to farm yeah. out the rest of that Schlieff, and it looks like they might get him soon. Uh... Yeah, well, Pisha just pulls him to cover, so at least the Vamp Deuce can't keep shooting him. Problem is, it's just it's just destroyer guns, so you're, you're hoping for fires. And Pisha actually has no more DCP and no more heal. Wow. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this is why... It's eight minutes into the game. This is why, objectively, I think fire prevention is the worst option on the Schlieffen compared to taking the increased number of heals. Yes. Dead sleeping. And that's going to allow the Des Moines to uh, have some fun. Oh, yeah. I would totally expect him to just go. But oh. he's got to wait for torpedoes first. Doesn't take it. Is he pressing W? Are we seeing a W press? Not quite yet. He's thinking about it though. No, he doesn't need to. He's just hydro locking for now. I think the destroyers can do that and he doesn't have to risk it. Because the Elvara might, you know, have tops loaded or whatever. I mean it, it's absolutely the smarter play. Um So, you know, that's fine. He can just sit there. Meanwhile, the Schlieffen and there he goes. The Schlieffen and the Burgon are converging on the sea cap. It's just feels weird. I, I'd rather see them more separated and then that way they can push together, but okay. I mean, they don't really need to do much right now. They have full control of the air cap. They have full control of the C cap. Pushing... Oh yeah, they're absolutely in the driver's seat here. Pushing might not necessarily be the best of ideas. But I'm not sure what the Burgoyne's planning on doing while he's uh, bow tanking right there. He needs to get turned out. Yeah, I don't. I, just, I guess they're they're just gonna try to put down the uh, the Mosfa, and it looks to me like they're they're positioning. I think they were trying to position both battleships so that it just denies Moy of even thinking of pushing into sea, right? Because why would you want to push into a Schlieffen and a Bragon, and most likely a Shimakaze? So Moy, I need to get some stuff done. Um, I think the vampire should though. be killable. Yeah. And I think uh, they think the same. I mean, if you look at Rice Enjoyer and uh, Kalel's Rosa Boy, looks like they're doing just that. They're rotating the, them south. Brody's Des Moines is going to start suffering at the hands of Rosa Boy and Des Moines' smokescreen. The Yu Yang Des Moines mm -hmm. of Moai from the one line might have to try and get involved in this. They need to, get into, they need to at least get into A Cap. Yep. 
This is absolutely their opportunity. And I think they both realize that now as they are doing that push you were talking about. Yu Yang smoke is available. Oh, look at that. Doctor's torpedoes are broken. Completely gone. Uh, what's in? Ouch. The Yu Yang. On the one line. So he has one launcher remaining. Yep. No, no. They're, they're, they're working. <laughs> he's... Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, he's got reload booster. That confused me. That confused me. So he's launched one set, <laughs> but it was a reload booster set. Right, yes, okay. Yes, yes. Welcome exactly. to the thinking man's action game. <laughs> <laughs> Where you have to think extra hard, because yeah. you just don't understand. <laughs> uh, well... The gig is up. The radar is happening. Yeah, and I'm not on sure the other side, nice having fun right now. On the other side, Thel actually. There goes Brody. Thel actually radars catches both of the the uh, destroyers. So they were actually going. They were making a play for Thel's Moskva, and the single fire torps did just that. Oh, I've just missed everything. Double kill. Rice Enjoyer gets a double kill. He takes out the Vamp Deuce as well and just kind of throws a smoke on for, for good measure. That's a clip moment there. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Is he going to get away with this as well? He is going to get away with this. And he's going to start farming the Des Moines. He is. But on the other side, Kalel is about to take a torpedo. Yes, he takes a... I think that's a Shima Torp. Judging by how much health he just lost, yes. It might be interesting. In the rear. That's that that's gonna sting. Alright, well Dino down. does go down on the one line, yep. And that's gonna leave a Yu Yang all on his lonesome in front of a Des Moines plus Garzavoy plus Alvaro. So he just has to leave now. He just has to leave. Maybe yeah, he just he doesn't have anything to regroup with either. This is this is looking a bit hairy for my eye. They could potentially get the Schlieffen kill. Uh, I'm not sure where all the self went. I, you know, I was just oh, thinking the Montana. same thing. Montana. This, this will do it right here. No, I was looking at the Montana and return. He's about to eat four torpedoes. Ow. Oh, well, that'll hurt. Those were Schlieffen torps as well. They were. If it was Shimmer torps, he'd be dead. Yeah. Well, all right. So at least Moe has managed to push Hakui off of the sea cap. Um... They did a better oh. job than I expected it to, uh, them to do, quite frankly. There is a seven-second lead currently for uh, Moyai. I mean, for... For, for Koi. For, for Hokui, yes. Vampire is mega low. Can't really do much because even the Shimmer will want at him, as so he can't even be in a position to be spotted by the Shimakazi. So he's out of the game until the Shimakazi is dealt with. Yu Yang right. is just having to run away. He's actually caught in Des Moines' radar right now. Yep. Now, what that, what the importance of that radar though is, it tells the, uh, it tells Hakui that there's nothing stopping them from going into B. Really, I mean, the Montana's heading that way, but they know the Vamp Deuce is not going to sit there and get himself spotted and killed for free. So. Question is, is the doctor gonna try to make something work? Is there much he can do? I suppose he's keeping the Des Moines honest and like the Des Moines can't rotate off, but he has to play this hyper passive because again, Grozovoy and Alvaro could be looking for him. Which is the same issue. gambling enjoyer. Very <laughs> oh Shimakaze takes the Grozovoy torps. And Ooh. War Gambling Enjoyer is gonna go down. And Moyai oh is suddenly in the God. lead. Moyai is clawing their way back into this game, guys. McGoin's going to burn out as well. Oh, yeah. And all of a all sudden... Right, we're going to have an east-west showdown. All of a sudden, this is looking very good for Moyai. They do have a couple of low ships. Um, mm -hmm. But Alvaro, Grozovoy, and Des Moines are going to have a hard time chewing through that Montana and Moskva. See, now, if I'm Doctor, you were talking about keeping the Des Moines um, 
honest, if I'm Doctor, I'm just going to keep him spotted, and then I'm going to rotate back and forth between torpedoes and guns just to try to trick him if he does have, he doesn't have priority target. But if he did, that would be a fun way to just kind of mess with him, you know? So Montana spotted running away from the B-cap, because, I mean, why would you go someplace that you know there's two destroyers that are probably going to do bad things to you? Hakuya flip B. This puts them in the lead again. Points-wise, that is. Yes. Now, there's only three and a half minutes left in this game. So... Oh. I think yeah. you know it's that. Yeah. Points are going to be important as the Alvaro de Bazan gets spotted by the Yu Yang. And here comes the Montana Salvo. Ooh, that's HE as well. Okay. World Spawn hit the brakes and they flew right by. Oh no, Dr. Smoked. Why? Why? What? Why did you do this? You just. He just completely negates it all spotting on World Spawn's Avarde Bazan. Yes. And also told them exactly where he is. Cross the process. Up on the Vampire 2 smoke. Montana gets a salvo into got... the Cross Boy. Yeah, he just got Montana. Yu Yang is spotted again. World Spawn going to be opening up with his Alvaro on him. Yeah, because Dr. Smoked, so told them where he was, and then they lost sight of the Baro, so they couldn't keep the distance properly. I'm really surprised to see that kind of mistake. But, fortunately, it doesn't cost him the ship. World Spawn is forced to disengage as well. And Hakui is still in the lead. Two minutes to go by only 30 points. However, however, he has been does flipped. Get the cap. It's like this, this is like this is a tug of war, dude. This is like seriously a tug of war. I love it. Is so Monty gonna sit there and try and farm out the Montana? I'm not sure if that's the best use of that resource right now. He has no radars left on his Des Moines, though. The thing this... is, uh, the Montana doesn't need to move forward. All he has to do is just not die to torpedoes. And he's good. You know what I mean? So I, I like his position. 20. I like his decision making. He's just going behind this island in the shadow. Uh, and he's just... He's ready. His turrets are in front. He's thinking that maybe there's going to be a destroyer that pops out in front of him. Oh, he's backing up. Okay, he's going to dodge those torpedoes just because he is backing up. 50 seconds, and he makes something happen now. I don't see a chance for Koi. Uh, they're, they're sitting. They're all sitting. I mean, at this point, you've lost. Go, right? Pretty much, yeah. You have, you have 30 seconds left to try and get the kill on something. Everything's just leaving B. You're not going to have time to recap it. It's over if you don't kill something now. Moscow Raider comes out, finds both destroyers behind their rock. And they see the Montana. They're opening up on the Montana, and the Montana's like, hey. <laughs> yeah. seconds. You're not going to kill the Montana in 10 seconds yet. I know you've got the funny button, but that's not going to do it, man. No. So, um, no death pick for me, as well, the Des Moines this trying. game lasts the duration. Yeah, I know, right? This game lasts the entire duration. A full 20-minute match. Moya will take a 1-0 lead in the series. Yeah, what a, what a, what a, this, this really was a tug of war, man. It was like, one side pulled, and the other side pulled, and the other side pulled. And I guess Moya just pulled harder? I just looked at Twitch. Advert will start in three minutes. No, no, it will not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why that's why I ran my two minute ad before um, before we jumped in. Uh, just just 
Give me that little extra, extra, you know, wiggle room, right? I've, I've started a timer on my PC to remind me in five minutes to run a commercial. There you go. Okay, well, um... Wow. So I'm just looking at, um... Press what we saw button. yesterday. Moi I won that game, right? Moi I won, right? Yes. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, who, who, who did what? Just wait five minutes, watch your stream, and you'll know. Um, but I'm looking at yesterday. Moyai lost the first game to Hakui on North, won the second game to against Hakui on Northern Waters, and then Moyai lost the third game on Warrior's Path. So, I mean, I, I get the feeling these teams are, are really kind of evenly matched, and, and that's awesome. That makes for great casting for us, right? Hmm? What? I, I, was, I, was, I was busy there. Sorry, what? you have to repeat that one. I, I said that it feels like these teams are, you know, very evenly matched, which makes ah, yes. for really good casting. It's 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 good entertainment for us, and hopefully it's good entertainment therefore for our uh, our viewers as well. At least I hope it's entertaining for the viewers. If the if the viewers aren't entertained, then um, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, I need to uh, step away for just one minute. All right. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Cool. I'll be right back. Well, Twitch chat, it's just you and me. If you're on Lord Zath's Twitch chat right now, um, please go say something weird in his chat. I know he's got headphones on and he can't, they, and, and, and they can hear me, but I just want him to, like, in about two minutes' time, five minutes' time, just see a wall of the word mittens. Just mittens. So yeah, Land of Fire was indeed taken by Moyai. That was the first of our three games, potentially, in this best of three series. Second game will be taking place over on North, which is, uh, you know, a mainstay of the classic scene, the, the, the competitive scene these days. North is probably one of our most balanced maps. Um, well, it's, it's also one of my favorite ones to watch. I, I, you see, it used to be a lot of 10-line brawling. Um, it used to be. Nowadays, it's a lot more smoke player over at A, which, eh, eh. I, I, I personally used to love seeing just a wall of, like, Salem, Stalingrads, Kremlins, just heading up the 10 line, having a big, massive fight. That's what I miss. Nowadays, people are just like, oh, well, actually, I'm going to kite now. I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm going to kite now. And, yeah, it's just, like, smoke player over at the A cup. Who eats torpedoes first? Who gets caught on a radar? Who gets blocked by the local Montana? All that kind of stuff. I have water. I'm going to drink some water because it'll make me young and healthy. That's a lie. I'm old and unhealthy. I'm going to pretend that I'm young and healthy, though. That makes me feel better. All right, so teams are getting ready up for our second game. We have eight out of nine already for Hakui. Uh, we got six out of nine ready for Moyai. Last few players, you know, everyone's in the room anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll get them all set up. Nine out of nine players ready for Hakui. Seven of nine for Moyai. Last couple of players trying to ready up. Where is what's my what's my advert time? Fifty seconds, okay. We'll get that done before the game starts. I mean you 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 won't be listening to this because you actually know you would have been because I'm gonna be two minutes after the advert. So yes, you would have heard this. <laughs> Hello. Oh, math is hard. It really is, man. It really is. Don't ever try to do math on stream, especially when you're working with, like, a 180-second delay. No, you take a 300-second delay, but you're running a 180-second commercial, and then the math gets hard. It's like, mm -hmm. 5 minus 3 is 2, Pienzo. It's 2. This is basic arithmetic. <laughs> they taught you that in primary school. Uh. Now, what color is the tablecloth? Red! No. No, it, it's not red. Yellow! No, no. Blue! No. Ah, boo! <laughs> A 
Oh, that's my timer. <laughs> Let me know if the advert's ready. Right, let's drop that now. Okay, well. My ad break is running. Mm hmm. Well, it's not running for you now, it's running for you in the past. So. No, it is running right now. Yeah, but I mean, to the people listening, the advert has already happened. Correct. That is true. So five minutes ago, you would have started an advert. But now the advert's already finished because we're in the future. <laughs> um, okay, so I had somebody asking in chat. and We have time to, to mention it right now while we uh, are waiting to get started here, I think, right? Mm hmm We've got one player on ready, so yeah. Okay, so um, they're asking about bans and why do you ban particular ships? There's a few different reasons you might do that, right? One is if there's a, a type of ship that your comp uh, just doesn't do well against. So, you know, if you, you know, can't handle the 12 kilometer radars, for example, then you get rid of Moss for Stalingrad, whatever. Um, Another reason to ban a certain ship is if you know the opposing team always runs a certain kind of ship or they have a very, you know, they have a cop center run or certain ship, you can totally screw them up that way. Or if they've got a player that's really good in a particular ship, like I'm thinking Angel Stone in the Ohio, for example, right? A lot of times people ban the Ohio just so he can't play that ship. Don't ever ban Angel anything? Stone's Conqueror. <laughs> yeah, you, you missed one <laughs> thing where it's like, if you think you can play a comp better, than the other person can when you make them play something unusual you can also do it like that so mm -hmm. very briefly before we get into this i saw rain target banning the des moines out so that when the smoke play was forced to happen they could bring their wooster comp which they believe was going to perform better than what they thought their opponents were going to be running on there mm -hmm. what? Well, we are off underway in our second game of this best of three series. The 1 0 lead currently to Moai. Here on North in the Northern Spawn in green, we have Hakui. And they're going to be running a little Vampire 2 with uh, the Hydro module. We've got ourselves a Yu Yang who's going to be running a Smoke uh, plus RPF and some Torpedo spec stuff. Shimakazi with Swift and Silence. And then we got Alvaro de Bazan. We then have, for the cruisers, we've got a Moskva with a legendary module behind that. A second Moskva, who's going to be running Reload Module, who apparently, I think, must be planning on playing a little bit closer in. Des Moines going to be running yes. Reload Module as well. Uh, for the battleships, we have a Kremlin, who's running full tank, surprisingly. Imagine running full tank in a battleship. And, oh, yes, there's only one battleship. They're there's only one, one battleship ha camp. Hakui, Hakui's done this before. They've run uh, one battleship, and they've run no battleship comps. So we'll have to see how that uh, plays out for them. To the south is Moyai. They won last game, hoping to win this and uh, basically secure third place in this tournament. And uh, heading towards the alpha side is Yu Yang. This is a smoke Yu Yang as well with torpedoes and all that good stuff. You've got the Alvaro Bazan supporting him. Behind that is a Des Moines with unique upgrade. Yamato with unique upgrade. Going to the middle is Brody's Mosfa um, with unique upgrade. I just want to take a look at that whale for a sec. I would love that they put that in. Um, and then over on the sea cap in front is another Alvaro de Bazan. Behind that is a unique upgrade Mosfa. Behind that, unique upgrade Des Moines. And behind that is your full tonk Kremlin. With Swift and Silence. And that covers it. Oh, brisk. I don't know with why they brisk. have the same icon for two skills, and it's basically the same skill, but one's Swift and Silence, and the other's Brisk. I suppose it doesn't have the um, the reload debuff that Swift and Silence does, I suppose. Yes, and then there's also Enlarged Shaft, but anyways. <laughs> so, um, both teams looking at kind of a evenish split, although it looks like Moyai is not interested in doing anything at B for now. Yeah, for the, AT, for the green team, we have Shimakazi, Yu Yang, and Des Moines at A, Moskva, Vampire at B, and then Moskva, Kremlin, Des Moines, and Alvaro all heading to C. Oh, initial cap attempt coming in from the Alvaro de Bazan for um, our friends Moai over here. Yep, and uh, he might... I'm... You Where's see the, the radar? You see... There's the radar. 
That's a Moscow radar from all the way over there, actually. Yeah, interesting that. I, I guess, um, they, well, I guess they just want to hold the Des Moines for the next attempt at this cap. Possibly so. Okay. Yu Yang finds the Shimmer torpedoes, doesn't find them the hard way. Uh, looks like mm -hmm. he's getting ready to smoke his demon in an aggressive position. There it goes. They just have to make sure they don't smoke them directly into that radar. Speaking of smoke, here comes another one from Hakoi's Yu Yang. Although, ah, so he's uh, the shimmer smoke first, and then a secondary smoke from the Yu Yang after, so he gets some more ground. I like it. It's a it's a neat idea. I feel like um, maybe a, a slight mismanagement of smoke there in positioning, but it's not going to punish Akoi for it. So there you go. Oh, speaking of punishment, I mind I was wrong. He did get spotted just for a, a moment. Had a bit of a 10-line standoff with Smokes. You know, I was listening as I, I was gone. You were talking about this map and everything. And frankly, I always find it kind of boring, especially the beginnings of it. Because it's almost inevitably just Smoke Train and watching fish, and then Smoke Train watching fish, and just, you know. Speaking of watching fish, I'm watching Des Moines take one in the stern right now. The bow, actually. But yeah, I mean, right, it's just kind of... Yawn, you know? <laughs> There's the radar from the Des Moines. Actually, both of them. Spider-Man meme going off here. Yeah, the Red Des Moines has his radar for quite a while now. The green one's only popping his now, so he's got a little bit more um, utility time with his. Oh, he is going to suffer more. Nope. Shimmer can probably take this opportunity to try to cap, you know, like knowing that the Des Moines radar is down and being able to outspot everything here. Especially because Cassius just took a torpedo in his Yu Yang. Yeah. From the Alvarde Bazan. That that feels bad. The torpedo de Bazan. <laughs> there you go. Well, the green Des Moines is um looking a bit worse for wear here, and so is his uh Yu Yang Company, so I think the trading has been going massively in favor of Moai over here. Or yeah, they're definitely doing a better job talks. with that. Um, they've got their Yamato in position to also support, and I think that um, that's really what's uh, scaring Hakoi, forcing them to back off more than they'd want to be. Well, looking at the 10 line, we've got a Des Moines that's uh, stuck on this island being farmed by another Des Moines. Kremlins angrily staring at each other. Brick versus at some, Well, At some point, I have a brick. feeling... Sorry, go ahead. No, I was, I was going to call the Kremlin a brick, but apparently a, a brick has been colonized by the Vermont now, so... Ah, true, true. But at some point, I have a feeling we're just going to see these two guys smash into each other and that's it. Now, look at the Avarde Bazan at sea coming around and just boldly charging the Mosfet. You know, he might get this kill here. He's definitely going to lose his health pool and die for it, but. He's also going to lose his torpedo tube. But, yeah. Well, he got ship. them off. He gets the kill. Well, it's a trade. He gets the kill. And that should allow them to send their mask right into the sea cap. Um, yep. Well, if the Kremlins ram each other off, then it definitely will, but it's... Mm. And that's going to leave a Des Moines and a Moskva versus a Des Moines and an Alvaro. And I think the Des Moines Moskva wins that, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, very interesting play there by um, by Moyai. Or, I'm sorry, by Hakui. Hakui's Des Moines over at A is again uh, suffering. He's down to mm -hmm. a quarter of his health pool right now. He's still got shells coming into his broadside. Oof. 
Four thousand. No heal in sight. Forty seconds away. Is he burning? He's not. He's dark. Okay. I just saw him lose some more health. That's why I was curious. Oh, Yamato shells. He's very dark Yamato now. shells. <laughs> Look at that shot, guys. From twenty-two kilometers away, just before getting past the island, Picha just seals the deal. And not only that, but they wasted the Shimakaze smoke uh, as well. So, uh, yay! So with that, I think Hakui is going to need to find a way to get back into this. They haven't really been competing much for the, the B cap. And I'm kind of surprised that uh, the Vamp Deuce hasn't gotten that cap yet. Smoke screen coming out for the Alvaro. Going to be smoking up his demise to farm that Kremlin. It's going to take a while, though. Kremlin notoriously, uh... Yeah. Is that like a, a Yamato salvo on the, on, the, on the Kremlin there? What the... Uh, it could have been Pisha's uh, yeah. salvo. Yeah, he's got the angle. You could definitely do that. As a matter of fact, uh, his guns are looking right there. He just put his plane up. Here comes the next salvo. Let's take a look at these. Just arced over the island. In-flight meal being served. Kremlin. <laughs> He's in it. So now it looks like Hakui's Kremlin is going forward, pressing the W button, but... I think you should have done this like five minutes earlier and went for the ram immediately, and then you would have a Des Moines, but uh, Des Moines and Moscow would have been able to win this trade against the Alvaro plus Des Moines, but obviously we yep. have God Vision, so. Right, we do. Um, also worth mentioning, Yu Yang Pro Ace over at A took a Shimakaze torpedo, so he's at 5k health now. Mm. And LH Gamer now detected by um, shooting, I think. Well, the Kremlin died. Yeah. Imagine that. So now the Moscow and Des Moines. Eh. There's a Kremlin there. The Kremlin's probably just going to walk at the face of the Des Moines and remove his entire existence, remove all memory, yeah. and remove his uh, children's children from existence too. <laughs> Big Thanos snap. I think Alvaro and Alvaro and Demine can probably just start looking to farm out uh, the Green Mosque right here as well. Let's see, and yeah, this is all the Krem, Kremlin go walkies now. I mean, might as well, as the Mosque does radar catches Rice and Joyers Alvaro with an island behind him. Um, and then Kremlin says hello. Oof. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. There's the Thanos snap. Indeed, and the Des Moines like, oh, they're eating him, and then he's going to eat me. This is why, go back to when I said, oh, look, they're, they're probably just going to ram. Yeah, that, that's the best thing that you can possibly do. doesn't matter which side of the, you're on. Just get the ram. Get both ships off the board so everybody else can go back and play. Well, I've just, I've just watched the, 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 the Des Moines shell bounce off the deck of that Des Moines into the island next to him. Yep, pretty cool, huh? And at this point, if I'm Pepe, especially if I'm unique upgrade, but nope, he is, yeah. I I would I would just hit W and like start trying to shift my, my ship around a bit, try to screw up the shells, because getting punched in the face while backing up hurts. It does. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean some mild face. You know you're going to lose when you do that. If you uh. if you just hit W and go for it, I mean you might be able to take him down in the process. Was Speaking of hitting W, going part. for it. Yes. Rob is going to get this kill on Moyai's Mospa, though. He trades for it. That's a good trade. So at least the Hakoi destroyers are doing well with trading. Well, is it a good trade at this point when you're already that many ships down? A one for one is not going to be in your favor. No. No, definitely not. But I, I will say it's it's still... At this point, at least you feel like you did something. You I know? suppose. So.
But this uh, this game is all but over. So the question is, is the uh, is the start of the of the winner bracket finals staying, or are they going to move that up? I assume that's getting moved up. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Watch what I'm going to do, Painter. You could go ask if there's is the game three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I love how you and I, we, you knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah. I mean, there are no game threes. There's only one match happening right now. That's myself. the point. <laughs> uh, I think, honestly, I think what they needed to do was they needed that Kremlin ram. Like, they needed that yes. Kremlin to ram off, and then they could have had an advantage with the Des Moines and shit. Like, the YOLO yep. earlier from the Alvaro sure that freed you up to then have the Kremlin ability to get past that island without the Moscow raining down on it was broadside if they ram each other off sure you've got to navigate Alvaro to people think maybe that's what he was afraid of but it would have meant you had the Des Moines and Moscow which should in theory win the 2v2 against the Alvaro Des Moines but oh yeah you could have potentially worked your way around the rest of the map but they just what absolutely happened else. What actually happened is because of that kill, they waved off the Kremlin. They got a little greedy, said, okay, well, maybe we don't need, uh, you know, to commit them. And that, that, that's ultimately what actually sealed the deal. So believe it or not, that that good trade is, is why they lost. <laughs> well, that was a oh, well. very good performance from Moyai. They will be taking third place in our tournament. Congratulations that's right. to them. That's right. I'll tell you, I think the hero MVP of that game was the Amato. Uh, Pisha just just handing, just just hitting some perfect <coughs> salvos, especially like that kill in the Des Moines. That was huge. Yeah, did quite well. Did quite.